Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 25th of June 2011. 43 years ago this day, the BBC arranged the first global TV transmission via satellite. It was watched by an estimated audience of between 400 and 800 million people. It included a premiere of the song by the Beatles, Love. Pure genius. But if all you need is love, then you don't need solar flares. That is fortunate because we don't have any. For the last 24 hours we've had no new major flares. And so the sun has remained very, very inactive. The reason for all this activity is very plain when you take a look at the sunspot regions. We have only three numbered sunspot regions on the disk. Region 1236, by far the largest, is about to rotate off the west limb in the next day or two and will, will be lost to us. Region 1239 disappeared overnight. Region 1240 seems fairly stable. And they've finally got round to labelling the region that I've been talking about for the last couple of days, and that's now called Region 1241. If we now look at the sunspot movie from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory, we can see that the regions are decaying fairly slowly. The striking thing about the magnetic movie is just the lack of activity in the whole eastern hemisphere of the sun. There are no major regions coming over the limb, and there's nothing developing apart from a few minor bipoles uh, on the disk itself. So this is not very promising for new activity in the next few days. We have a little bit more luck with the transition region movie. When we look at the helium 304 images, we see there's at least one major eruption on the southeast limb. Let's take a look at that in a bit more detail. You can see a loop like structure continuously filling and emptying over a period of several hours. However, then it becomes much more uh, well defined and erupts. Notice how beautifully twisted it is. And I hope you noticed there was another prominence on the northwest limb that looks as though it's pregnant for lifting off. So let me show you that in a little bit more detail and we'll see if in the next few days it decides to erupt. The Corona movie from the same instrument shows some very interesting structures above the region not near the west limb. But it also emphasizes how bereft of uh, activity the eastern hemisphere of the sun is. And you can see there are no major regions on or behind the east limb to rotate on in the next few days. The movie from the Soho coronagraphs shows that there's little activity going on in the outer corona. There may be a faint coronal mass ejection coming out in the southeast towards the end of the movie, but that's about it. The eight solar wind monitors show no sign of that coronal mass ejection that we were expecting yesterday. It looks as though it slipped by us, or its effects were masked by the high-speed solar wind stream that we're currently in. The NOAA 15 data shows us that the auroral zone is quite active still. However, the KP index is varying between 2 and 3, which is rated as quiet. So in summary then, the sunspot number is at 62, the X-ray background B3, the intensity of the radio sun is 96 solar flux units, the solar wind speed is just below 600 kilometers per second, with a density of just over 2 protons per cubic centimeter, and the KP index is rated as quiet. My forecast for the next 24 hours is that sea flares are still possible, though increasingly unlikely. The chances of getting an MRX flare are very low. The sunspot number will go lower, I suspect. Coronal mass ejections remain likely, but the chances of getting a major geomagnetic storm now are very low. Looking at the composite coronal image, 
Looking at the composite coronal image, we see that our major regions are about to rotate off the west limb. And the regions that are due over the east limb look very pale and insignificant by comparison. So I suspect solar flare activity will remain relatively low. Early editions of the Sun Today are available on my channel, and I have some links to various useful NASA and NOAA websites. This is in the description box below. If you want to see how the Sun looked one, two, or three rotations ago, go to the Sun Today videos on the 29th of May, the 2nd of May, and the 5th of April. Today's featured global warming video addresses the alleged problems with the temperature data. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.